Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video to simply focus on what's new and where to download Windows 10 May 2021 update or what is also called 21H1. So it's released today and there aren't really a lot of stuff in there that um, is of interest for most people. One is Windows 10, uh, well, or Windows Hello multi-camera support. Windows Hello is that feature where uh, with uh, a compatible camera uh, in accounts and settings, there's something called Windows Hello. Uh, it will actually, in the sign-in options, uh, Windows Hello Face, you will actually have multi-camera support, and you'll be able to use um, external USB cameras for logging in, which was something that didn't work before. So now more than just the integrated camera can work. So that's a good news. That's the main feature actually that uh, for regular users. For the rest, it's really for developers and, and more advanced tech with the Windows Defender application guard support and Windows uh, WMI group policy performance. For the rest, it's mostly under the hood performance. Apparently, Microsoft says that there are some improvements in gaming and speed and relative speed of the operating system itself and so on. Where do you download this? Well, of course, there's Seekers. You can go and check out if you have it in Windows Update. Windows Update is where it's going to show up as 21H1 feature update. But if you actually have, uh, you want to download it, uh, officially, you can download it directly from here. You can go and check the download the media creation tool. That tool has been now updated to 21H1. You can open it and run it. And here you will actually have this tool uh, first getting a few information to uh, make sure that everything seems fine. Once that is done, you will have, of course, the legal uh, thing that you'll have to check that you're okay with. So we're going to, here we go, and you click accept. Now, um, in the Windows 10 uh, media creation tool, there are several things that you can do. You can download an image, create a DVD or USB bootable device so that you can clean install. I recommend, by the way, that you keep at least an image of an older system that is still supported even though you have an image of the newer system so you can go back if for some reason there would be something so now you can upgrade the pc or create an installation uh, file and there you will have automatically it chooses the same windows version that you have installed on the pc but if you do wish to have something else you can remove the check mark change the language if you want and choose uh, Windows 10 edition, depending on what you're choosing, 32, 64-bit, or even have both in the image. Then you can, of course, uh, click Next. Here, USB flash drive. You will need at least an eight gigabyte drive. And in ISO image, if you want to download the image to a DVD, make it a DVD, or simply have an image available and save it to your PC, you can actually call it Windows 10 21 H1 if you want, so you'll know it's the new version of Windows. So this is how you're going to get it uh, and download it from the Microsoft download page and um, upgrade your system from there if you want. It's now a go, and we're now moving forward. It's a very small update, and for most people that just do the Windows update, uh, most of them are not going to take that long to actually uh, operate. So it's finally here today, May 18th, 2021. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.